G'day guys, Carla from Go Travel in the garage today with the Raptor. We are going to be talking about wheels and tyres. Now, I changed the wheels on this thing months ago. I've got some footage. I did intend on making a video, but I just never quite got there because I was still undecided as to what I'm doing. I'm still a little bit undecided, but I'm pretty confident I know what I'm going to do with this thing now. It is an absolute drab, rainy, miserable day today. I figured let's finally get my ass in gear, finish this video that I started months ago and go through what I've done, why I've done it, and what I'm thinking about doing tyre-wise. Now, for those of you who have been following me for a long time, I do have Icon Compression Bronze wheels on this thing. They are a 17 by 8.5 inch wide wheel with a plus 25 offset. The Raptor Ranger actually has a decent set of wheels and tyres on it. Like these wheels don't look too bad. There's a very similar RH wheel that's out now that a lot of people are going for. The main reason we're changing these is just because of offset. The main reason I'm not changing the tyres, and don't get me wrong, these tyres are definitely too small for this car, but I want to go to all terrains. So I figured I'll give these 33 inch ATs a go, but I'm unsure. I think I want 35 inch all terrain tyres. So I figure I'll run the ATs, the standard BF ATs, give them a go, and then make up my mind whether I'm going to keep ATs on this or put muddies on it. So if you look down the guards, that wheel actually sits well inside the guard. So if I put it against any banks, it's going to smack the panel, smack the flares. So what I'm trying to capture is what the new wheels look like when they go on. Same with the front, they just sit way too far in. So these are the factory wheels. I actually don't mind the colour. I think it's a nice colour. I think the design's pretty good. But like all factory wheels, it's just the offset's a bit too weak for my likings. It is a 17 by 8.5 inch wheel, positive 55 offset on it. So the new wheels we put on are Icon Compression 17 by 8.5, so same width, just with a plus 25 offset. So what that means is the new wheels sit 30 mil further out than the way these wheels sit. That's how they sit looking down the guard. So they sit a lot nicer with the guards. And if we do decide to go to like a 35 inch tyre, they're not going to be too bad. Every time you buy a set of wheels, you always end up getting shit wheel nuts. So, tapered nut, like a lock nut style, but really they're designed because they take a smaller, thinner socket. So what I've done, I've gone and bought some Gorilla tapered shoulder nuts. Ever since I lost that wheel off the patrol, this is what I've used. They're just a better quality nut. And then being longer, you actually have more threading gauge. 14, 15, 16. So you got nine versus 16 turns, so that's full revolutions. That's quite a lot of difference in thread engagement. You just feel like this one's better quality. The longer nut feels better quality. It's probably just a placebo for me. It's probably just paranoia, but it's something that just always sticks with me. I don't want to lose a wheel again. High powered four wheel drive. I'd rather have more engagement on the nuts. Being a rainy day, it's actually a good opportunity to talk about high powered four wheel drives on four wheel drive tires in the wet. They do not hold the road. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it is heaps of fun to drive in the wet, but it hates holding onto the road. Mainly that's because of four wheel drive tyres. Four wheel drive tyres actually have less rubber on the road. <laughs> that's just the reality of it. Now, I look at the way this thing sits, and I'm still of the opinion that 33s are too small for it. Looking at how the wheel sits in the guard, it's just got all this room, so much space, and it really wants bigger tyres. One thing that is worth pointing out is the 60 Explorer rig, Damo's rig, that's got 35s on it. As you know, you've probably seen the videos on that. This thing with 33s, the power loss between bigger tires is phenomenal. Like if we line up on the road, this thing walks away from Damo's because of the smaller tires. So bigger tires definitely give you a little bit of power loss. At the end of the day, is it a major important thing with a Raptor Ranger? Probably not. There's that much power that you can afford to actually lose a bit. So my original plans with the Raptor was to go with an 18 inch wheel and put a set of 29570 18s on it, which actually worked out to be a little bit bigger than 34 inch. Um, and I thought that'd be a good compromise, but then I found the Icon wheels and just fell in love with them. I liked that the bronze was slightly different. They're just not that common of a wheel. That's, that's why I actually went with these wheels. So now I'm in this position where I don't really want 35s. I definitely want a bigger tire. One thing I've definitely decided on is I'm actually going to stay on all terrain tires. I do quite like having AT tires. Um, I ran muddies for a lot of years. And what I'm doing in the Raptor, I actually don't need mud tires. I never thought I'd say that, but here I am. What I'm thinking is I'm leaning more towards a 295 70 tire, which works out to be about 33 and a half. So 
BF Goodrich tyres, I don't know if everyone knows this, but they're traditionally a smaller overall diameter tyre. So these are like an 830 OD, whereas the 295s I'm looking at are all around the 850 OD, so they're all but an inch bigger. Will it make a massive difference? Absolutely not, but it'll definitely make some difference. I think at this stage I'm leaning towards a Maxxis AT tyre. The only thing I don't really like about the Maxxis AT tyres is the tread depth is actually quite shallow. It's only around that 12 mil, whereas most other ATs are around that 14 to 15. I think I might be getting a little bit wiser. I might be getting a little bit older, growing up a little bit. I think <laughs> old me would have put 35s on this every day of the week just because I can and they easily fit. Whereas I look at it now and go, do I need them? Probably not. Am I going to actually use them to their full advantage? Probably not. Will 295s be adequate for what I'm doing with this rig? Absolutely, they will be. I'm still definitely a little bit torn on this one. It's I can put 35s on it, so ugh, should I? But I don't know. I think I think logic says the 295s are the right tire. Like everything, there's pros and cons to going 35s, pros and cons to staying on 33s. For me though, like I said, I, I, I'm probably leaning more towards that, that 33, slightly bigger than 33 inch size. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Anything, feel free, comment it below. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, go travel.